Well, it's a brand new week and uh, I'm back to keep you posted on the stories that are making headlines today. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller, and uh, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, Ugandans have again been left in shock after it was confirmed that the Vice President of Uganda, Jessica Alupo, has left the country to represent the Minister of Education and Sports at the graduation ceremonies of Ugandan students who were undergoing training in various fields of modern agriculture in Israel. We all know that a vice president is more powerful than a minister. So some Ugandans are questioning that. Why is President Museveni's wife, Janet Kataha Museveni, undermining the vice president, Jessica Alupo, in that manner? This is breaking protocol. I mean, the vice president is only supposed to report to the president, not to any minister. And by the way, this is the second time the Minister of Education, Janet Kataha Museveni, giving assignment to the vice president of the country. And Ugandans are not happy with this breaking the protocol. That's why they are reacting so big time. However, for now, we haven't heard from any government official responding to this matter that is getting serious in the public. Another former government minister, Yona Kanyomozi, has died at Nakasero Hospital after suffering from cancer for a long time. Yona Kanyomozi was announced dead yesterday. He served as the Minister of Cooperatives and Marketing in President Apollo Milton Obote's government. He also represented the people of Bushenyi South Constituency during Obote II's reign. Kanyomozi has also been a strong opponent of President Museveni's government. If you look at the generation which took over government in 1962 and look sequentially, except for the incidents that happened in this country, sequentially, all of us have done something positive. Well, those are some of the statements he said while he appeared in an interview on NBS TV some time back. May his soul rest in peace. Omukama Oyonyimba, the king of Toro Kingdom, is facing some backlash following his decision to appoint Stephen Frankstock Kiyunji Amoti as the new prime minister of the monarchy. Now, the appointment of Stephen Frankstock has been openly rejected by, you know, some members of the kingdom's Supreme Council. They claim that Stephen is not a Mutoro, that he's an Indian, so they cannot allow a foreigner to be their prime minister, and yet they have other several Batoro who can take up that prime minister position. <laughs> However, Frank Stock says he's a real Motoro, not a Muganda or an Indian, like many Batoro are saying. <laughs> Meanwhile, some other ministers in the kingdom are in total support of this big man's appointment as the prime minister of the kingdom. The king wants us uh, in the next 25 years to have us overcome poverty, disease and ignorance under whose leadership such a man is going to drive us there. Yes, so that's the latest coming in from that side of Toro. By the way, it's a big issue trending that side of Toro and uh, I'll be keeping you posted on this matter. Well, the family members of General Eli Tumwine are so disappointed in Kira Municipality Member of Parliament Hore Bosemu Junganda for the negative statements he has openly said in the public after the death of General Eli Tumwine. Now, this particular relative says General Eli Tumwine shouldn't be remembered for the small statements he said but the job he did for the country. 
If Uganda, 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 Honorable Uganda, is seeing and listening, Tumwine cannot be known by the job he did as a Minister of Security. You don't kill a, a policeman and you say, he has said you kill a, a, a. Some of these people who are writing, whining and dining, it is because of Tumwine's willingness to, it's not that any soldier wants to die, no, but they are willing to take their lives in the line of fire so that Nganda can drink a cup of coffee. Many times we have heard stories and watched videos of Ugandans suffering in Arab countries and this was confirmed by Horrible Moada Ngunyinji, the Shadow Minister of Foreign Affairs, when he recently travelled to Dubai to check on how Ugandans are living that side. Moada says it's very true, many Ugandans are suffering on the streets of Dubai after promised jobs, but there are no jobs. Now, Mwanda says parliament should pick interest in this matter and push government to return back Ugandans who are suffering and stranded in these Arab countries. Tuteka amanyi mkusindikiza parliament, okufuna interest, noku ya mbaba na Uganda, banabali mu Middle East abaso mozewa. Tuteka kumanda guanga nga lina nenyo nye eziko la sente, nenga tesomu la gena kutasa na Uganda nkumi nya, abali mkome danga veta anga veta azitransport ya vaza. I think these are the type of ministers we need in this country, Uganda. Not these ones who just sit in their offices without following up matters in their ministries. Well, big upon yourself, horrible Mwada Ngunyinji. And finally, over the weekend, rapper Fikfa Maika survived a nasty accident on his way to Luero for his extra concert. Based on that video circulating on different social media platforms, Fikfa Maika's car was crashed. However, reports indicate that he survived with minor injuries. Uh, the cause of the accident has not been established, but uh, what is most important now is his safe. Well, there you go. That's the latest update I have for you right here on The Buzz UG. But before I wind up, I want to send my regards to the new commenters yesterday. Uh, Sunday Odoka, uh, Saro Namutamba. Saro Namutamba was like, you guy, Melads, I always comment on your stories, but you don't say hi to me. Why? <laughs> Saro Namutamba, I'm sorry, but big up on yourself. Uh, Ronald Kalule, Namaweje Mutonyi, Jolly K Mugisha, Mugisha Chomuga Show, King Bosco Official, big up on yourself, bro. Brother, Christine Lubega, Luswata Jackie, Okot Noah, Efras Nasiwa, Mujira Steven, Viani Viani. You guys, I love you so big time. Thank you so much for the support. And please, may you continue supporting and uh, listening in. And many others that I have not mentioned, please, you guys, I love you so much. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fula. And in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Thank you. Audio Jungle.